Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today to talk supplements. Yes, that's right. As we get into our second half and I am 60, I think it's really important to concentrate on health and not just beauty on the outside, but beauty on the inside, which is a good, healthy body. And there's a lot of evidence that supplements do do some positive things for us. So in addition to eating right and getting some exercise, I think taking supplements is something that we can do to not only feel better, but be healthier and to look better too. And if you're in your second half and you're interested in feeling and looking your best all through your years, then I hope you'll consider subscribing. And when you click that little bell, that just notifies you of my future videos. Before I get into telling you the specific supplements that I take, I have to tell you about a little difficulty I had taking supplements, remembering to take them, and that has to do with something about my home. And that is that when I grew up, I grew up in, you know, my parents were wonderful, wonderful people, but I was about to say I grew up in squalor which I wouldn't say it was squalor, but I definitely had the most messy house, the most embarrassing house of anyone that I knew. Whenever anybody would come over, I just would rush to pick things up, to throw things in closets, to throw things in drawers. It was just not a pretty sight. And from that experience, I always vowed that when I grew up, I would have a very neat and tidy house. And so I really do. Over the years, I've learned to put things away, to keep things neat and tidy. And certainly on the outside, everything looks very organized and it's getting more organized on the inside. But one problem with that is I didn't like my supplements out. It's funny because Alan's parents, they each take a lot of medications. They're older, of course, and they each have like 12 drugs that they take and they have them out on their kitchen counter. And I understand the approach to that, but just with my background and my childhood and my desire to keep things neat and tidy, I would never like my supplements just to be out like that. So as a result, I kept them in my bathroom and I kept them put away. So every morning I would have to drag them out and half the time I would forget to take them. I would forget to drag them out. And so what I realized is that there is really a reason to keep your supplements out to where you can see them and or your daily medications. So what I decided to do was to make my utility room truly a utility room. Yes, the washer and dryer is in there and you have hanging clothes that are drying and all that kind of thing, but I'd always thought of it as just another extension of my home and that I wanted it to look neat and tidy at all times. So what I decided to do is to truly make my utility room a utility room, which means it is useful. So what I now do is I keep my supplements in that utility room. I keep them out in a line and every morning I get up and go into the utility room and take my supplements. And I will say that the first supplement I take, I have just started this about three weeks ago and I started it because I did cut my hair and I'm really trying to grow my hair about an inch longer and I'd like it to grow there as fast as possible and as healthy as possible. And I've heard fabulous things about this little supplement. This is the Vital Proteins Collagen Peptides Supplement. And I will be doing a video after about 90 days showing you my skin and hair results using this. Hopefully there will be some results. But basically what I do every morning, and I get up around five o'clock in the morning because I like to have an hour to do my prayers, my meditation, uh, my positive affirmations. I like to spend about 20 minutes on the elliptical, a little bit of yoga. I just like that hour all to myself. And this is the little cup that I use every morning to get my coffee. I have several of these with a little door on them. I really like those. But what I do is in my first cup of coffee, I just go ahead and put this little supplement in there. I just use one scoop and here is the size of the scoop. Just one scoop of this collagen peptides. And this is actually, I think, derived from bovine collagen, which basically means pigskin, which is gross, I know. But I do take that first. And then I get a big glass of filtered water. I don't have the glass right there. For some reason, I'm acting like I do. But I get a big glass of filtered water and then I take it into the utility room and I take my supplements. Okay, I keep my supplements in the utility room. So I've got all my, uh, my clothes hanging to dry there and there's the washer and dryer. And basically I have decided that instead of trying to make my utility room beautiful, I will use it as the name implies as a utility room. And so I thought that was a great place to keep my supplements. I do love this little Hoppy Lobby sign that I have. Always be honest, be kind, keep your promises, smile, say please and thank you, be grateful, laugh, share, do your best, work hard, forgive and forget, love, be happy, say your prayers, certainly true, show grace, speak truth. I always love words. But this is where I keep my vitamins and I keep them out. I didn't used to keep them out and so I would never see them and I would never take them. It was very, very hard to get in the habit of taking vitamins. 
And so this is a look at my supplements that I do take. The first is that I take three Brazil nuts every day. And the reason for that is because I have a rather large nodule on my thyroid and the doctors are watching it for six months. And I really don't want to have another surgery on my face because as you know, I had the Mohs surgery under my eyes and that's been not fun to get through. So I really don't want to have another incision on my neck. So I'm hoping that I can avoid that by taking Brazil nuts. And then also the sea kelp is something that is supposed to really help your thyroid. So that's why I take that. This is a look at all the supplements that I take every day. There is a probiotic, and you know what that's for, girls. A D3, which everybody needs vitamin D3. It's the latest fad vitamin, but they say it does about everything in your body. Then I take a general women's multivitamin. Again, I take the sea kelp, which is for my thyroid. And then this is the BioCell, and I've been taking this, and I'm doing a future video about the effect on my hair of really taking collagen. This is the BioCell Hair, Skin, and Nails. Reduces fine lines and wrinkles thickens and strengthens hair and strengthens nails. And everybody at my health food store totally swears by that. And then I just have another little biotin that I'm taking one of those a day. The, the dosage there was two, but I wanna get rid of that one, so I'm using that one. And then I take Fibercon, and I'm going to be doing a video about this, but I had a real problem with digestive issues like diarrhea, and now I no longer do, and this is part of the reason for that. And then I do take vitamin C. I take 2,000 milligram tablets because vitamin C builds collagen and strengthens your bones and joints. And so that's basically what I do. And because I have the Fibercon here, every morning I take all of this with a full glass of water because the Fibercon needs that, that um, fiber needs that glass of water. Well, so that was a look at the supplements that I'm taking every day currently. And if you have supplements that you take and you'd like to share how it makes you look or feel better or gives you better health, then I hope you'll share that information below. And if you're interested in seeing how my 90-day test of these vital proteins, collagen, peptides work, if it really does help my hair, skin, and nails, then I hope you'll subscribe and click that little bell. That will just notify you of that video and all my future anti-aging videos. Okay, at this okay. point in the video, I always like to do a little thought for the day. And as you can tell, I have my friend Missy here, which is unusual. It's an unusual treat to have my friend Missy here. And anyway, I thought about a thought for the day about the importance of maintaining old friendships. And the reason I brought Missy here is, well, number one, she came into town and we had lunch together and had some fun today. But number two, she got together our junior high school class reunion of 10 women. We went to an inn in Kansas City and had a blast. And I just think that's important to keep up friendships. And so that's the thought for the day is really keeping up old friendships, reaching out to people. So Missy, what prompted you to reach out to all of us? Well, we were all so very, very fortunate as kids. And, yes, we were. And we were all really close. And we had birthdays one right after another. We did. So here we all turned 60. Ah! And I yeah. felt like that should be celebrated. Absolutely. So Absolutely. It was easy. It just, everyone was was so into it yes. that it made it very easy and we just had the most special time. Absolutely we did. And how very fortunate and blessed we were that we were so close then and that we could come together, you know, 40 years yeah. later yeah. And, and still be close. And so, and it was really amazing. And I guess my thought for the day is, what would you say to the women out there if they have old friends that they haven't been in contact with a long time, because most of us hadn't been, all 10 of us hadn't been really, what would you say to them? Reach out, don't be afraid. They probably will be thrilled and surprised to hear from you and what a gift, especially this time of year. Absolutely, this is the time of year to reach out to friends especially good old friends. <laughs> and with that, I guess that's our thought for the day and it's a pretty valuable one to think about your old friends, appreciate them and to reach out. Take care, see you next time. Bye.